Assalamu alaikum guys, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be going through Ridvan's video about the moon splitting, or as he puts it... Which is pretty much the only miracle that Muhammad ever performed. Thank you Ridvan for exposing your ignorance. It is no surprise that Ridvan left Islam if you think about it, I mean, think about it. List in your mind all the reasons why you are a Muslim, then imagine that all you had was just the moon splitting. To Ridvan, the event of the moon splitting was merely 7th century hearsay. So yeah, no surprise that he left Islam to be honest. Back to the video. The moon was split in Muhammad's time as a miracle that would verify the authenticity of Muhammad's message. It failed horribly, <laughs> unless you are someone who doesn't like research and rationality. In the Quran, the event is mentioned very briefly. It says, the hour has come near and the moon has split but weirdly not seen by any other people except Muslims. Ah, this is where Ridvan went wrong. Just a few seconds ago, he quoted two verses that proved that the disbelievers saw the moon split. The Quran affirms quite clearly that the disbelievers did not reject that event, but rather explained it off as magic. It is important to be aware that the Prophet peace be upon him recited these verses in public continuously. For years he recited that the disbelievers saw the moon splitting and shrugged it off as magic. If no such thing occurred, then he would have been called out for it. So no, Ridvan, it wasn't only the Muslims that saw the moon split, but more importantly, the disbelievers affirmed that it split by claiming that it was magic. I just want to look at this. I don't really know what time of the day it was and uh, what season it was, whatever. But um, considering that it was early at night, the moon would have been visible in these areas. Or late at night, towards the morning, in these areas. You would expect that the Persians and the Romans, in this time the Byzantines, would document such a miracle. Because both of them, especially the Romans, kept records strictly of pretty much everything. There's another issue with Ridvan's assumption here. One of the reasons why we do not have heaps of documented evidence was because most people were asleep at night. Remember, this is the 7th century. More importantly, there is no reason to assume that the split occurred for a long duration of time. So even if one was awake at the time, it is not likely that one would have noticed the moon splitting. Furthermore, even if you did see the moon split for a short period, you would most likely doubt yourself after seeing it return to its original state. Going around telling other town folk that you saw the moon split would pretty much cause them to doubt your sanity. If you were someone that documented events, you wouldn't believe whoever told you that it split in the first place. If by chance you were someone that did witness the moon splitting and went ahead to document it, then like most ancient documents, yours may have been lost due to the passage of time. Or maybe not, maybe such documentation has survived, but we simply have not heard of it yet. So is the absence of evidence evidence of absence? If so, then the Great Wall of China didn't exist during the time of Marco Polo, since he didn't make mention of it in his writings. I don't even want to talk much longer about such nonsense. Muslims should really ask themselves if they would really uh, this blindly believe in it if another religion made such uh, crappy claims. It really seems like Ridvan has a very shallow understanding of what occurred when the moon split. He seems to believe that the Arabs were a bunch of gullible idiots who all converted to Islam when they were told about the moon split. Here's a visual representation of what Ridvan probably believed occurred during the time. Hey, fellas, did you hear what Muhammad said this time? Well, what did he say this time? Huh, he said he split the moon in half. No way! He did it? That means he's gotta be a prophet. Let's all become Muslims! Yay! Yay! What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so what are the facts? The companions of the prophet, peace be upon him, told people that the moon split. None of their contemporaries denied that this occurred. The disbelievers confirmed that it did split, but explained it off as magic. And finally, my piece of advice to Ridvan, who thought that the only miracle performed by the Prophet peace be upon him was the moon splitting, know that there are volumes upon volumes that have been written in support of Islam as a religion of God that have documented other miracles. So sit down, pick up a book, and educate yourself. 
I'm out. Assalamu alaikum.